In this video, I'll be showing how to get all 11 of Spark's secret package number 2 badges in the Roblox Metaverse Champions event for week 2, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on this event and like the video. The first game is Unicorn Obby World. You just need to complete the obby, I guess, just like the obby that was in week 1. So I'm gonna speed this part up, it seems decently easy, you just have to jump over things. Okay, there we go, so at the end you just need to touch the chest. Next is Minery 2. Find 3 Amethyst and I'll give you a chest. So once we get 3, we can just give it to Sparks, and then Sparks is going to make the chest. So, you can get Amethyst just by mining. Ooh, I found some Amethyst, it's right here. It has a bit of health, but I'm gonna hit it a whole bunch. And it, you can see in the bottom right, it says Amethyst right there. So there we go, I got some Amethyst, and... I'm pretty sure that just gave me one, maybe it gave me more, wait. Yeah, it definitely gave me more, so I guess if you mine one Amethyst, then it gives you, like, five, and then you can just go over to Sparks. Third is Horse Valley. This badge is awarded to those who earn ten Sparks in a single session. A Spark can be earned in the following ways. Leveling up a Rider stat, leveling up a Horse stat, participating in a race, and crafting an object. So it seems like you can get that by doing many of the main things in the game. And if you're new, there's like a tutorial, which I have never played this before, so I'm going to do the tutorial. So let's go over this person, and then... If you want to become a rider, you first need a horse. The local instructor might be able to help, so press complete. Then it will say your new companion is waiting for you in the stable. So mount your horse, and you can press show health if you don't know how to. So you gotta go over here, and we actually have like the... I'm pretty sure this is what you need to equip the horse. And there is the horse. So mount, and then... Okay, actually... Yeah, so... I think we can walk now, but for some reason it's like a little laggy and kinda delayed. Like, whenever I press W, it does the movement like a little later. But now we need to level up stuff. So if we go back to the quest menu, then we can complete that. Train your horse in the barrel racing arena and improve how fast your horse moves. So you can press show help and that is going to show you exactly where you need to go. I'm going to speed up this part after you do one thing, press the question mark button, and then do the next thing in the tutorial. But we gotta go over here now. And there we go, I got the badge, that was actually pretty easy. Fourth is Disaster Island, and I'd say this is the hardest quest in the entire event for week two. Sparks is going to be right here at the spawn, you can talk to her, she's gonna say, Welcome to Disaster Island, a tropical paradise or so it seems I'm a Sparks kill a lot, you must be here to earn my crate for the Roblox Metaverse Champions event. This is going to be one super exciting adventure. To earn my crate, you'll have to survive a rare double disaster or mystery disaster event. So this actually got nerfed a little bit since when it first released. Now you can get it in not only Double Disaster, but Mystery Disaster also. And it isn't as rare. Like it used to be once every maybe 30 or 45 minutes. Now I'd say it's about one of every four rounds. So it shouldn't be too hard to get anymore. But you just have to survive that round. So once you get in, it's going to say what the disaster is after a few seconds. So it says Disaster Volcanic, so that means that it is not Double or Mystery, because for Double it says two disasters are happening at once. It doesn't say exactly which ones, so you're going to have to pay attention, which might be a little harder to do. Like, if you know what it is, you can prepare, but if you, like, actually have to watch it, it might take too long, and then you're not going to know what it is, and you're going to lose. So then for Mystery, you don't know what it is, but there's only one. 
so it seems to be way easier than double. Once you survive the double round or mystery round, you're going to get the crate. Next is admin house new. If you go over to Sparks, Sparks is gonna say, help me find the chest. From this one, you want to go forward over to these rocks, and then it is right there in between them. So just touch the chest, then you're going to get the badge. After that is pilfering pirates. First, you want to go outside of your pirate ship. Then you want to take out your small boat and then place it like right here. By the way, if you go past this blue one, then there's sparks right there. So like go past the blue boat, it might spawn sparks in different locations, but I'm just gonna go this way because this is where Sparks is right now, and then talk to Sparks. So there's already the chest there. Can we just like steal the chest from Sparks? Then Sparks says, hey, I have a special mission for you. Take my launcher and destroy 500 blocks with it for a very special reward. Come back to me when you've done this. So now I have Sparks launcher. Can I destroy my own base's blocks? Nope, I cannot. So, we need to go over to other people's boats, and then destroy them. Although it does very little damage when actually hitting something, like it doesn't really destroy many blocks at all. If you launch it on someone else's base, then they actually, like, well, since they explode, it's very OP to do something like that. Then you're going to get a lot more blocks, so I recommend doing that, and then just explode everyone's base. So it's basically like launching three small bombs at once, which is kind of overpowered. Launching them again right there, that's a pretty good spot. And 499, literally just one more block needs to be destroyed. And 511 out of 500. So I'm pretty sure we have to go back to Sparks now. So I already used my boat, so I'm gonna reset so we can like start over from the beginning with this and then take out the boat again. Don't go in the water because it's gonna damage you. Okay, take out the boat, then we gotta go behind the blue base. So there is Sparks. Thanks for your help. Take this badge and gold. So we not only get some gold from in this game, oh and keep the launcher till the metaverse event ends. So you get gold, a launcher, and the badge. So yeah, let's X out, and there is the badge. Next is Shark Bite. First, you want to go over to the map at the spawn. There's an X right there. It's going to spawn in a different place every round, though. You just need to go over to where the X is, and then go to the ocean floor. Then the clam is going to be there. So, as you can see, there's the lighthouse, then the southeast island, van... And then in the bottom left of the map, there is an X. So we just need to go over there. I rejoined because I couldn't drive anywhere but backwards. And now it's doing it again, but it's automatically driving me backwards. So I have to go over here. It's like along the edge. And so let's just go down real quick and then find the clam. So now we got to escape from my boat. That won't stop moving. And so if we look down here, the crate is going to be around here somewhere very close. Yep, there's a clam right there, and we just gotta shoot it to open it up. Now there is going to be a bubble with the chest in it. So then once that goes to the surface, we need to collect it. So we'll just go over to it. And then we got the chest. Then the next game is Roblox High School 2. I'm gonna be a student. You gotta be one of the student roles because you have to pass your classes. The classes differ each time, but in the top right, you can click this button where it says the time. And it will say exactly what times you have your classes. And I'm assuming you don't get graded for lunch. So you need to pass all five of your actual classes. So first is math. I suggest going over there so that you're on time and don't accidentally miss it. Just go over to whatever your first class is and then teleport there, wait for it to start, do whatever you need to do in that class, and then you're gonna need to do that for an entire endgame school day. I don't know why, but it changed my classes, and now for first period I have performance arts, so one second left until it starts. It says flip over the right cards to memorize your routine for the school play. You'll need to remember where each pad is placed or which, where each card is placed. Uh, Flip over every pair of matching cards, and there we go, we flipped over all of the cards once again. Oh, it counted the class I passed earlier when I was joining to see what you need to do for the event, so that means I only need to pass a few more. 
So that means even if you fail some, you don't have to start again. You just need to pass five, and it can be in different days and game. But it's probably best to pass all five in one day, so it's the fastest. Here we go, I got Sparks Week 2 badge. Next is UFO Tycoon. Fly through A rings at any UFO to unlock the Sparks badge. This is one of the games I expected to be in the egg hunt, so I played it a bit early and I already unlocked some stuff. But since this is a tycoon, just play it like a normal tycoon and then eventually you're going to unlock the UFO. So just go around, touch the buttons, and then touch the buttons to get more things faster and then you can buy the UFO eventually. So you need to go through A rings, and I see some rings over there, so let's go inside of this UFO. So E to get in, and then you can use these buttons on the side to go up or down, and then we just need to go through the rings. So let's go through this first one, and then that actually gives you some gems. And then we need to go down a little bit for this one, then we can continue. And there we go, we just got Sparks Week 2 badge. Then after that is Trade Lands, which is a kind of hard quest. It doesn't really matter which team you choose, so just choose one. Press play. Sparks kill want needs your help. She has misplaced some of her robot parts. Set sail, press M to use your map, and sell a piece of cargo at any other port. Then use the robot parts to craft a Sparks chest at a workbench. This will award you the Sparks chest and badge. So then we can press play. There's gonna be a tutorial at the beginning, so you can press a G to open your inventory, and then use an axe to chop down wood from trees. Then use a pickaxe to mine metal from rocks. Craft tools and weapons at crafting stations. So this is where we're going to need to go to make the chest. Then some items such as guns or cannons require crafted ammo to function. You can store items you don't want to carry in the warehouse. You start with a small boat, but you can speak to the shipwright to build new ones. The shipwright only uses materials that you have stored in your warehouse. The dockmaster will help you spawn a boat on your own. There will be an open ship editor button in the bottom right of the screen after spawning a ship. Use the ship editor to place cannons on your boat. The trader will sell you cargo, which you can deliver to other islands. So this is where we need to get cargo from. Speak to the trader on another island to sell your cargo. So we're going to need to get some cargo from him, go over to another island, sell it to that trader, and then craft Sparks chest with the robot parts. Each boat has a limit of how much cargo it can carry. Form a crew with other players to defend against enemy players. It is dangerous to travel alone. Vendors sell items for doubloons or robux. At the spawn, there's going to be this guy that you can talk to. Press E to interact, then spawn a ship. So choose the bigger one. I haven't played before and I have two, so I'm assuming that everyone has that one. And we just gotta wait for it to spawn. And there. So it is actually kind of big. Don't sit at the cannon, though. You want to go to the back of the ship so you can actually drive it. But you want to go over to that trader guy now. Turning takes a little bit of time, like it doesn't really turn that fast, and then once you're done turning you have to like stop turning and turn the other way so that it stops turning so fast, but we just got to go over to this guy at the spawn right here, so now we're turning the other way, and then we're going to press S to go back a little bit so it stops going as fast, there's this guy, then we can talk to him, I have a four cargo so we're all Four stores so I can get four cargo. And I'm going to buy max eye patches. So they're actually free. You don't have to pay anything for them. You just can get the cargo and then it's going to go in your cargo hold. If you spawn the smaller ship, it's going to say zero out of zero and you can't buy anything. So now we have to go to another trader on another island. Okay, so we're just going to go forwards a little bit and then turn. So I'm just going to keep trying to go forward this way. And then we're gonna go over to the next island. I'm gonna speed this up because it seems to be a bit far away. Oh. 
Okay, we got over to the other island, and it didn't actually take that long to get here, so we just need to talk to the trader guy, and so E to interact, then eye patches, cell max, and then you're going to get robot parts and some doubloons for your cargo. This island doesn't have a crafting area, and I think you might lose everything if you reset. Because last time I played, which was many years ago, if you reset, you'd lose some doubloons, I think. So I'm going to go back over to the island, so let's just drive back there, and I'm going to speed this up too, because it's going to take a while to get back. I went to another island and walked around for a little bit, and you can see my boats there. If you go up the dock and then up here, then there's a crafting area. So under Metaverse Event, there's Sparks Storage Chest, which you actually need a bit more than the metal parts. So Robot Parts Quest Item, you need 15 iron, 3 copper, and 2 iron wood. If you go from the crafting area to the back of this island, then there are going to be some rocks. So whatever island you're on, go over to the rocks, and you're going to need to mine them with your pickaxe. Because you're going to need iron, and then once you get iron, you can make the iron pickaxe. Then once you get that, you're going to have to mine some other things, and then you can finally get the sparks chest. So it's going to be pretty hard to do if you're completely new to the game. Or not really hard, just a bit time consuming. To get the iron axe and pickaxe, you need to get 5 iron and 7 oak wood for the axe then 7 iron, 5 oak for the pickaxe. You're gonna need 27 iron in total to make the tools and the chest, because you need the tools to get the other things, you need to craft the chest. Then you're gonna need 12 wood to make the tools, so just chop down any tree. So you can literally walk up to any tree in the town, just start chopping it down, then you're gonna get wood from that. So I already got one wood, this is gonna take a few more minutes to do. Once you get 12 wood and 12 iron, now you can finally make the iron tools. So the axe, let's craft that, and then let's craft the pickaxe, and there we go. So if we go over to inventory, we can see that the tools are right there. So I'm going to equip this one on the left side and this on the right side. Copper and iron wood are rare drops, so whenever you're mining a rock with an iron pickaxe, you're sometimes going to get copper, and same with trees, whenever you're cutting them down with an iron axe, you're sometimes going to get iron wood. This quest can be very long if you're new to the game, but once you farm long enough and you get 15 iron, 3 copper, 2 iron wood, and one of the robot parts, you can finally craft Spark's storage chest. So let's make that, then it will give you the badge, and last for Sparks team is free admin. Get 25 kills with gear to get the secret crate, so you can get any gear, there's a wall of gears over here, and you just need to get 25 kills. So let's click that, and then get a kind of good sword, and then there, we can instantly get kills. And I already have two, can you kill Sparks? Nope, you can't. So I'm just gonna kill my friends. Anyways, that's how to get the badge. It's gonna say that you got the badge, and then you're gonna get it. So it's pretty easy to do, but that's how to get all 11 Spark Secret Package number 2 badges in the Roblox Metaverse Champions event during week 2. So make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on this event, like the video, join my Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Tolanthric, use star code Tolanthric to support my channel, and link in the description to a playlist called Roblox Metaverse Champions Guide, and it has all my other videos on this event on it. So if you want to see how to get all of the other crates, then check that out. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.